this video we're going to show you how to make these cute little Valentine's Day heart envelopes. So when you open them up, you can add a little sentiment inside there like that. So these are really cute, really quick and easy to make and we're going to show you how to do this using your brother's scan and cut. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is open up the Brother Scan and Cut Canvas software and there'll be a link to that below this video. And come over here to Basic and you want to find the heart here, this one here. So click on that and it'll come up here. Now what you want to do first is change the size. We want this to be a decent size so we'll come up here and we want to change this to 10. Oops, try typing in 10. And you'll notice we've got maintain aspect ratio on, so it'll be a 10 by 10 heart here. So close that and pop that into the middle. Now I'm going to bring that up to 100% there, just so we can see what we're doing. And you want to now, what we want to do is line this heart up with the lines here. See this grid line along here? We want to line the top of the heart along with that grid line there. It doesn't matter which grid line you choose. Just choose one and you want to line it up so it runs right on top of it. And see the point here? You want this point here to run along here with this one here. So make sure, again, that's lined up along this line and the middle point is lined up along this line. So we'll just do that. There we go. It's pretty right. Okay, now that we've got that bit in, we want to go up and click on this one here. This is the path tool, so click on that. And then you want to come down to the very bottom of your heart and we want to go up three squares, three grid squares. So there's one from the bottom here, see from this bottom bit. So we've got one, there's the second one there and there's the third one there. So three squares up and we want the line that that corresponds to there. And we want to click on this side, just click once and then move across and if you hold your shift key while you're doing that it'll keep a straight line if you don't hold your shift key it does this so if you just um, move across hold the shift key it'll keep a straight line for you and then still holding the shift key you come up to the end and press and just click once you can let go of the shift key at this point and then click again to just hold that all in okay that's your first line done while it's still highlighted come up the top here to where are we this one here and you want to come down to dash pattern and change it to this one um, here, this third one down. Okay, so that's your first line in there, your first folding point. Okay, now we want to put the next two in. And these are the ones that are going to fold, uh, come up here to allow us to fold the heart over. So again, we choose the path tool, click on that. And you want to start down here at this point and just click once. Hold the shift key again and come right up to the top and click there again and then click one more time to hold it in. You've always got to click twice. All right, that's the second one in. Oh, while it's highlighted, come up, click on that and do the dash pattern again. Same one again. Now we want to do exactly the same thing to the other side here. So click on the path tool, come down here. You want to click there, hold the shift key, bring it up click and then click again to hold it in. All right, oops, and I always forget you want it highlighted and add the dash pattern. Because the dash will allow it to us to fold this little um, heart over into an envelope. Okay, one more line we have to put in and this is the most tricky one, but it's not as tricky as you think really. What we want to do is make a halfway point along here. So it's halfway on this line. So if we come down, we've got one square there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven squares down. We want the halfway point. So if that's seven, a halfway point's going to be three and a half squares, all right? So we've got the first square there, second square there, third there, and this is the fourth, so it'll be three and a half. So one, two, three, and we want halfway in between this one, which if we bring this up a little bit more, let's have a look. Start again, one, two, three, and we want the halfway point in here. So you just need to find these little dots here. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we go one, two, three, and it'll be three and a half. So it'll be about there. Okay, so we want the path one selected. 
one, two, three, and half, one, two, three, it'll be about there. So I'll come across to here, click there, and hold the shift key, bring it across, and click there. And click again to hold it in. While it's highlighted, come up here and select the dash pattern. Okay, I'm going to bring that down to a reasonable size now. Alright, so we're actually done. The only thing we need to do now is select everything. So I'm going to just click and drag to select the whole lot. And then I'm going to right click and group. Okay, so now you can save this. So come up to project title. I'm just going to call this heart envelope. Envelope, and then I'm going to download it to my computer. Okay, so that's done. So once you've done that, you can load that file now onto your USB and um, plug it into your brother's scan and cut, and we'll show you how to do that next. Okay, so I've put my heart template on the USB, so I'm going to pop that into the side of the brother scan and cut, and then I'm come up, come up here to pattern and save data, and that's the USB one there. So I'll tap on that one. And I'll look for my heart template. That's it there. Okay, so I'm going to go OK. OK. And cut. And pop the mat in. And I've got the blade on a three. And here we go. Should be able to just fold on our scoring lines and you might just barely see them there but they are there see how nicely they fold Fold that over and you can also tuck that in if you wish and there you go that's your heart envelope you can open it up you can put a little saying in here so when the person opens it up it's all written in there so really cute so if you like that give us a give us a thumbs up we really appreciate it thanks very much